Reportedly, Prince William and his stepsister Laura Lopes had frequent fights around the time that her mother Camilla and his father Charles got married in 2005. In recent years, Prince William has become a more prominent member of the British royal family. The departure of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, together with the scandal surrounding Prince Andrew's friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, have been difficult for the Queen to handle. The monarch's mobility problems have made the last six months particularly trying. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, however, have been ever-present throughout this period. In spite of the fact that many people view Prince William as a laid-back and relaxed figure inside the royal framework, one biographer's account reveals that the Duke was not always so laid-back. In her 2010 book, Harry and William, royal author Katie Nicholl stated that the Duke had frequent disagreements with Camilla's daughter, Laura Lopes, then known as Laura Parker Bowles. When asked about the reasons for their divorce, she remarked, William and Laura used to have terrible fights over who was to blame for their broken homes. According to a source close to the royal family, who Ms Nichols cited, William would hold Camilla responsible for all the pain she caused his mother, which would make Laura extremely angry. Laura was not having any of it. She would take a hard line and fire back at William. Your father has ruined my life. In addition, the author stated that Laura and her brother Tom were teased mercilessly at school due to their mother's friendship with Prince Charles. She went on, Every time Charles called Camilla at their Wiltshire home, Laura would grab an extension and yell down the speaker, Why don't you stop phoning my mummy and leave our family alone? She didn't care that it was the Prince of Wales, and she told William that she blamed him for the end of her parents' marriage. It has been reported by a number of different sources that William and Camilla's relationship did not get off to a very good start. This is something that the royal biographer Penny Juna emphasises in her book, Born to be King. This is what she wrote. To tell you the truth, the connection between them all was not as friendly as it is now. In the past, it was not. I believe that they found it to be challenging. To be fair to Camilla, she never tried to be mummy, but she was the other woman, and she was there and taking Daddy's time. Additionally, the Daily Mail said, citing a royal insider, that, during the early phases of Charles and Camilla's marriage, when everyone was still getting used to their new roles, there were significant conflicts within the family. When William was younger, his connection with his father was not the best it could be. According to what Robert Lacey said in his book titled Battle of Brothers, Camilla was taken aback by William's fury in the early days of their relationship. He stated that Harry has openly admitted to his own burning temper from time to time, and as for his older brother, he has proven to be no sweet William when aroused. Harry has always readily admitted that he has a temper. Camilla has described to her own family and close friends her surprise at discovering this unexpected side to Prince Charming in the years following her marriage to Prince Charles in 2005, saying things along the lines of, That boy's got a temper. Charles's wife has been horrified at the ranting and raving that on occasion William has unleashed against her husband in her presence, she had said. The Mail on Sunday recently reported that Prince William gave his blessing for Camilla to be given the title of Queen's Consort. Since then, William's relationship with Camilla has significantly improved, as seen by this statement. The newspaper was reportedly informed by a second source that his relationship with the Prince of Wales is better than it has ever been. He does not have a particularly close relationship with his stepmother. However, they do get along just fine and have become quite the blended family. In addition to this, he holds his grandmother and the advice she gives him in the highest regard possible. If she feels comfortable with it, then he will feel comfortable with it as well.